White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany revealed on Monday that she, too, had tested positive for the coronavirus. McEnany joins a growing list of prominent Republicans and White House officials who have been diagnosed with the disease in recent days. That list includes President Trump, the First Lady, Trump's campaign manager Bill Stepien, advisor Hope Hicks, RNC chairwoman Ronna McDaniel, former advisor Kellyanne Conway, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, and three Republican senators. No, there are um, privacy concerns. McEnany routinely refused to wear a mask when talking to reporters, even after the president himself got infected, like other high-ranking White House officials who also addressed the press in recent days without face coverings. Why aren't you wearing a mask right now? Yeah, so uh, I've obviously been tested. We're hopefully more than six feet away. I'm not wearing a mask right now because I'm talking to you and we're distancing. I tested negative this morning. I get tested every day. On the mask issue, how come you're not wearing one? I was wearing one and I may have left it over there. But. In fact, McEnany, who declined to quarantine despite the growing number of positive cases around her, briefed reporters outside the White House without a mask just one day before tweeting that she'd been infected. The press secretary has routinely echoed the culture of the White House that shuns mask usage, defending the president for not wearing one, and often referring to it as a personal choice. Does President Trump choose not to wear a face mask? Does he think it sends the wrong message? That's his choice. You know, he's tested each and every day. Those of us who On Monday, she tweeted she would now begin to quarantine. The CDC recommends that one should begin quarantining immediately after being exposed to someone with coronavirus, not only after testing positive. I'm not going to get into um, the president's symptoms exactly. He's had mild symptoms, but... As for the president, he began a fourth day of treatment for COVID-19 at a military hospital outside Washington Monday, with the severity of his illness unclear barely four weeks before Americans go to the polls to decide whether to re-elect him.